Hello, welcome back to my channel. You're watching Prehistoric Companions. My name is Dylan Schultz, and today I'm gonna give you a tour of my classroom. I teach fifth grade science. I really just try to have as much fun as possible, and my whole philosophy is if I'm having fun, then the kids are probably having fun, right? So over the summer, I have had lots of time to reflect on the things last year that were working pretty well, and maybe how I could improve them, make them a little bit better, but also the things that really did not work. At the end of the day, I think all the kids went home, they had a blast, they learned lots. I just can't wait to get this year started. Today's the uh, day number one. So if I have any students tuning in today welcome back to school everyone else out there getting school started have an awesome school year learn lots every day is a day for learning be kind to your teachers be kind to everybody just come to school prepared every single day ready to absorb as much information as possible make new friends make lots of important goals and just have a good time. I will have animals in the classroom this year. I won't leave them over the weekends, but throughout the week when I'm here, I spend most of my time here in my classroom. So I'll have some ball pythons. I'll have the bearded dragons. I have, I'm even gonna have cool classroom jobs such as a zookeeper or a botanist, just something to give the students uh, some responsibility, you know? So let's go ahead and roll this quick intro, show you guys what kind of tanks and habitats I have set up in here and show you the rest of my classroom. We're gonna have lots of groups in here. So this is my zone, got the teacher zone. Do not cross that line, this space is for me only. Of course, if I have a uh, student who is a zookeeper for the week, they have to come back here and tend to my Clark spiny tail lizard. I named him Steve. Yeah, there's Steve. So Steve is a spiny tail lizard. So he'll live here in the classroom, got a nice little habitat for him. Got some artwork that I did when I was in college getting my bachelor's of fine art, some charcoal drawings. So I like to show off my artwork here in the class as well. Got some hanging pothos and snake sheds. We got uh, danger noodle, of course, right here. You can see the pied pattern, my milk snake, boa constrictor, my big girl Cleo that laid all those eggs for me this last season. Then we got a vision cage. I'll keep ball pythons in here. I'll kind of switch them out and probably bring different specimens either on a daily basis or weekly basis. I don't know. We'll see. Got some more artwork and stuff. Lots and lots of artwork. And then beneath this insect breeding rack, we're going to study life cycles and earth systems, ecosystems, earth's water. Got uh, Madagascar hissing roaches, dubia roaches, Savogos morio beetles, and isopods down there. I also like to display my college degree and things. Just, I don't I guess I'm a show off. Students can return their homework assignments, get two shoes, staple their papers, get some tape sharp in their pencils. Got it all, got it all. Newton's Cradle, of course. I posted a video last week. I'll post a card up in the corner of this wet specimen that I had created. So it's here in my classroom now. Got an awesome Dragon Ball Z poster. Love my Dragon Ball Z. Go Team Marvel. And of course, kids love dinosaurs, so I got a cool Jurassic World poster as well. Got two large dry erase boards in here, so we'll have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, have all the objectives for the week up there so the kids know exactly what to expect. I love this quote, be the change you want to see in the world. I have them think about that every single day. What is your intent? What is your purpose of being? We got, we're gonna have lots of lab coats. I got some lab coats ordered so all the kids can feel exactly like scientists, but you know, it also serves a purpose, keeps their skin and stuff safe from if we do science experiments, but also, you know, helps keep their clothes clean. I know my mom would kill me if I came home and all the clothes that she spent good money on were ruined. Ooh. Of course, we got the classroom library. That's good. Here's my newest edition. I've been buying all kinds of plants lately. We'll have pothos, I have a little money plant, at least that's what it's kind of called. Aloe vera, a little prayer plant. I have, uh, this is a sensitive plant. When you touch it, the leaves kind of curl in. It's very interesting. Black desert rose, I think. I'm not sure what half of these are, but I'm gonna have a botanist that is gonna continue to do research on these plants and how to take care of them, and hopefully I'll learn from my students. I have a massive TV in here, so I do lots of cool lessons up on there. I love using my TV or we'll watch documentaries. That's always really good. 
Then of course the cabinets behind me are just full of science supplies and measuring apparatuses and just quick experiment stuff. So this is home. I hope to have an awesome, an amazing school year. I can't wait to start working with all these guys and just spread the love and passion and curiosity of learning about the world that we all encompass, the universe. I will try to stay up with my postings and try to keep regular content coming your guys' way. So with that being said, I've been here absolutely all day uh, organizing my classroom, trying to get things put up on the walls, posters and such. I'd say it's about that time we head on home and check on all the animals. Okay, and we're back. It's a little later in the evening now. Sun's starting to go down. Reptile lights are going out. Here we go. Got my boy Vegeta here. This is the first snake that I have ever got. He is a banana pastel GHI Het Hypo Royal or Ball Python. And I enjoy him a lot. He's really cool. I love his pattern and his colors. So recently I received a notification that a tank that I had recently ordered was shipping and it said it was delivered today but I didn't sign for the package. Back in April I had placed an order for two 120 gallon bearded dragon enclosures, PVC enclosures from Custom Reptile Habitat. They have some pretty amazing things and I can't wait to get this thing assembled. But I think I accidentally got the wrong tracking information because it says that it was delivered somewhere on the east coast and I did not sign for a package. So I made a couple of calls and it did some uh, jumping through some hoops but I did get down at the bottom of the situation the tank that I had ordered is getting ready to ship so I can't wait to get that I'll post a link to custom reptile habitats down in the link in the description below so that you guys go check out what they got on their website there will also be some other interesting things down in the video's description below so go down there and check that out so typically when I get home from work I just like to come in here and check in all the animals just see how they're doing usually every morning before I leave anywhere I'll go into my ARS 7010 hybrid rack for my snakes I have my ball pythons and a blood python in there Kona and I just like to check on them every morning just look at them and appreciate them and then I do the same whenever I get home from work so let's go ahead and check everybody out here real quick and then I'll let you guys get going for today so there goes Vegeta I'll go ahead and put him away this here is Charlie he's a new male <laughs> so this here's Charlie. He's brand new. News to the prehistoric companion family. Normal male ball python. This beautiful girl is a bamboo ball python. She has very dramatic patterns and colors. Her name is Hula. Here's Kona, the male blood python. They call them blood pythons because as they get older, their colors become like blood red. He's hiding in the substrate, so we can't really see him too good right now, can we? But he's an ambush predator. He's just gonna sit there as patient as possible and wait for something tasty to walk by. This is Cleo in here. She is a big girl. She's the mommy of the babies that I just produced. She is a citrus pastel female royal python. And then last, we got Danger Noodle. This is the dad. He's a pied male ball python. And then here is one of Cleo's babies. Here's one of the pastel 100% het pied female royal python babies that I produced back in May. So this little girl is three months old and I always see her cruising around in her environment here. She is so cool. Well, that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for watching today. If you're new to the channel, please do me a huge favor. Hit the subscription button so you can stay up to date with all my video postings. Also, be sure to hit the all notification bell so that you know every time I do post a video. And last, hit that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that people are enjoying my content and my videos can get pushed out to an even larger audience. So stay safe out there in this crazy world of ours. I hope to see you in the next episode of Prehistoric Companions. So with all that being said, we'll see you later.